Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to install Racket Mode on Emacs and also how to use the Scheme Interpreter in Emacs. First, I'm going to recommend checking out this website right here. It's it's a Scheme Wiki. It has a lot of information. I'm pretty much just going entirely off of this right here. I'll link everything too in the bottom in the description so that way you can just click on the link. What we're essentially going to do is we're going to copy and paste this code right here and we're going to paste that into our config file in Emacs. So we're going to copy this this text right here. Next I'm going to go to, I'm going to launch Emacs. I'm going to navigate to my config file so I'm going to hit the control key and then X and the control key and then F. Now on the bottom here I'm going to type dot Emacs, because that's what I named my Emacs config file. So I already have it right here. I already copied and pasted it, so I'm not going to do it again. But what I would do is I would just paste that text right into there. Then I would click Save. Then the next thing I would do is open up the terminal. Now I'm going to type sudo apt get install racket since I already have it installed I don't need to install it again but this is what you would do oh and there's one last thing I should probably mention this right here when you copy and paste the code it's gonna say SCM right here, everything in the quotes. But you're going to want to change that to MZ Scheme. MZ Scheme is an interpreter. It's a scheme interpreter. So I also included that in the steps that I provided. I coded up a janky little website that has all the steps, and I'll provide a link to that as well. But if you look in the description, I'll have a link to that web page I was talking about, the Scheme Wiki, and uh, or Emacs tutorial, I should say. And then I'll also have a link to my web page I'll show you what it looks like and everything that you would need to run like all the commands and also the text that you would copy are highlighted in red but I have the <clears throat> I have the but I have the steps right here so now that I edited the config file and I also changed this to MZ scheme now I'm going to show you how to actually run the interpreter so what we're going to do is we're going to do that thing again where I hit the meta key which is the alt key so I'm going to hit alt and then X notice down here I'm going to type run space and it actually includes the dash for you scheme racket is launched right now and here's the interpreter right after this carrot so I'm going to go ahead and type a quick little expression 1 plus 2 there you go. So now you can start typing in scheme expressions. Load and then quotes your program. Now you're not actually going to type in your program, it's just whatever it is you named it. So it could be like example.scheme or test or whatever whatever it is the name of your scheme program is, that's what you're going to put inside the quotes. And then you're going to close it off with a close parentheses right there. And then when you run that, it'll actually launch your scheme program. So that's another way you could do it. You can do it straight from the interpreter and you could also write a whole entire program out and actually launch it from the interpreter. So I hope this is helpful. Like I said, I have this uh, I have the instructions right here, so if you just want to follow these instructions, it'll get you started. Alright, hope that helps. Have a good day.